Next here on East Midlands Today, a woman from Nottingham who has terminal cancer says she's delighted that a drug that she believes gave her more time is to become available on the NHS. 40-year-old Janine Brook had been given Cadsila as part of a trial and had campaigned to ensure that other women had access to the drug. In the last few days, NHS England reached an agreement with the manufacturer, which means they can fund what Janine believes is a lifesaver. Well, a little earlier this evening, Janine came into the studio to speak to us about her ongoing battle for the drugs, but against the cancer. So I was diagnosed first of all in 2010 with primary breast cancer and then sadly the year after with secondary incurable breast cancer. And then I was put straight on a drugs trial with the drug Cadsila and had a great success on that drug right up until 2014. And you've campaigned for this to be available on the NHS and then you found out, what, just days ago, really, that they were going to do that. Well, I mean, were you pleased or were you a bit kind of, why didn't they do this before? That time too, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very frustrating. It does seem to be that drugs sort of spring up, go through trial stages, and then the NHS removes them. So to actually hear that Cadsila potentially was not going to become available um, routine, for routine use in England um, made me really cross. And even though I'd benefited from it, I just felt, it inside me that I wanted to help other people and helped with the campaign. Mm. Because these drugs are called life extending. I mean, yeah. that's that's hugely important, isn't it? It is. And a lot of the people I know um, that will benefit from Cadsila have young families and, you know, they're in their 30s, possibly 40s. And we're not talking, you know, matter of months. It could be years that it could extend their lives. And, and to me, um, you know, that means a difference that I'm still here to be able to see my daughter go to secondary school. A friend of mine might see um, her son go to school. And in real terms, you know, that's huge. Are you still having to fund yourself to some degree, though? I am. So, unfortunately, I have actually exhausted or targeted to treatments. I have a, breast, a type of breast cancer called HER2 positive breast cancer that responds to targeted drugs and last year um, was my last targeted drug I could have that was available on the NHS. So I've started a campaign myself to create awareness and you know then aside of that I want to actually raise funds for my current treatment which is costing in excess of £1,900 every three weeks. Okay. So it's huge. It is huge. I mean, do you think that really the women should not be placed in, in this sort of position, really? That all, all drugs, if they're proven to be effective, uh, should be available? You know, in the ideal world, yes. But unfortunately, we, we have these challenges ahead and it, it's very difficult. So, you know, I will fight to the end. Just before you go, we've got to ask you, you're going to be on Eat Well for Less on Wednesday? Yes, I am with my family. Why did you do it? So to try and save money towards my drugs. So it wasn't, you know, to become famous. It really was to see how they could help us as a family. And did it work? Uh, you'll have to tune in at 8 o'clock on Wednesday to find out. Janine, we will. Thank you so well, much. Thank for you.